Hi, I'm Mark Baseman, Senior Admin Evangelist, and I want to show you Einstein Search. Einstein Search is really easy to enable and will improve your user search results in three ways. One, it will make your results more personalized, so those relevant results are surfaced more quickly for each user. It's natural language based, so you can type a sentence like, my open opportunities, and get the results that you expect. And they're immediately actionable. So when you get those results, you'll be able to see the record details and even drill down into related lists with a minimum of clicks. So let's check it out. Here we are in setup, and you can see the new Einstein search enablement box here at the top of the screen. We're going to go through the steps in setup to enable Einstein search for my user. This is included in professional edition orgs and above. So there's two steps once we're in the Einstein search settings here. We're going to tick the first box, which is that all users get personalized search results. And then we're going to create a permission set and assign the permission set to the relevant users. So let's create the new Einstein search permission set. So we'll give it a label and an API name. The important thing here is to give the permission set the correct license. Here, this is going to be the Einstein search license. Once you've got the permission set created, we're going to um, add the three system permissions that we need to add for Einstein search. So there are three permissions that you need. You need the base Einstein search permission, which shows those recommended results on the search results page. Then you're going to add the Einstein search record previews permission, which allows the additional record previews. And finally, you're going to add the Einstein search results based on conversational queries selection, which will show those natural language search results. So we'll save this and we'll assign it to our users. So in this case, I'm going to assign this permission set to my user so you can see the results once it's assigned to the Mark Baseman user. So let's assign this to my user. And now let's test it out. Here I am in my Sunshine Chocolates homepage, and you can see that I've enabled Einstein search because you can see a big search box at the top of the screen. So you can tell Einstein search is on. When I click in, I'm shown personalized results immediately. So these are things that I may have searched for before, or it's data that I've looked at more regularly. A lot of information here. If I want to search for a specific account, which I can do here, I'm going to search for the associated supply company. It's going to show me related information like the contacts associated with that account, any opportunities associated with that account, and of course the account record itself here at the bottom. What's really nice is it's showing me all the related information. So it's showing me some fields on the record itself as uh, determined by the search layout. And it's also showing me in the related list quick links all the related objects to that account as well, which also are on the account page layout. But again, for your users, they don't have to drill all the way down. They can just use this right here with a minimum of clicks. So again, thinking about making your users super productive. The other thing I can do is use that natural language query to do my open opportunities, for instance. And this will show me, surprise, my open opportunities. So again, using uh, a minimum of clicks and natural language to show you the search results that are most important to you. Pretty cool. I just showed you Einstein search. We saw how to enable it in setup by creating a new permission set and assigning it to our user. And we saw those personalized search results and even used a natural language query too. I can't wait for you to enable Einstein Search in your Salesforce orgs. Thanks so much for joining me today.